Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is the second part of our atomic structure videos and it's about drawing the electronic structure or the electronic configuration of an element. So you may have noticed in part one that the sodium atom has it had its electrons arranged in a certain way. And there are some things you need to know about electronic configuration and there are some rules that you need to know. So the first thing to know is you are not expected to draw it like I have. You don't need to draw the protons and neutrons in the nucleus. All you have to do is replace the nucleus with the element's symbol. So in this case, N A. And now we just need to draw in the electrons. Now each of these orbitals, because the electrons are orbiting the nucleus, each of these orbitals is called a shell. And each shell, each electron shell, represents an energy level. So electrons further away from the nucleus have a higher energy. Another thing to know about electron shells is that they have a maximum number of electrons that they can hold and the first shell can hold a maximum of two electrons. The second shell can hold a maximum of eight and the third shell can hold a maximum of eight as well. And when we draw electron shells or electrons we start in the center and we work our way outwards filling up the shells. So sodium has 11 electrons total. The first shell can hold two and I'm going to represent the electrons with a cross. You can draw a small circle which is just called a dot or you can use a cross. I'm going to use crosses. So the first shell can hold a maximum of two electrons. So we need to move on to the second shell which can hold a maximum of eight. So let's start filling up this shell. Eight. Okay, so that's two plus eight. So that makes 10 electrons that we've drawn in so far. We need one more to make 11. So the outer shell will only have one electron. So it's, it, the outer shell is not going to be full. It only has one electron. And that makes 11 electrons for sodium. Now we can draw this as an electronic structure diagram like this. And we can also represent it in number format. So you could write 2, 8, 1. And you can represent sodium in both ways. So let's do this again for another element. Let's do it for carbon. So we find carbon here on the periodic table and carbon has six electrons. So the proton number is six, which means it has six electrons. So I've drawn out some empty electron shells here. We write the symbol for carbon in the center. That's a capital C. And now we start drawing in the electrons. So it has six in total. The first shell can only hold a maximum of two. So we move on to the second shell. We need to make up the number of six. So that's three, four, five, six. So that's the electronic configuration for carbon. It only has two electron shells. The first holds two, the second shell holds four, and that makes six electrons for carbon. And we can represent it as two comma four in numbers. Now, of course, we don't need the outermost electron shells, so we can just get rid of them and we can just leave it like that. And that's the electronic configuration for carbon. Now you need to be able to draw out the first 20 elements from the periodic table. So from hydrogen all the way to calcium, which is the 20th. And if you follow the rules you learned in this video, you should be able to draw out all 20 of them if needed. 
and if you were to do this you would notice that the number of electrons in the outermost shell actually tells you what group it's in in the periodic table so all elements in group one have one outer electron group two elements have two outer electrons etc etc so sodium which is in group one if we go back to sodium we see that sodium has one outer electron because it's in group one or rather it's in group one because it has one outer electron carbon here has four electrons in its outermost shell and we find carbon in group four and all elements in a particular group will react in a similar way because they have the same number of electrons in their outermost shell now let's test how well you can do this let's have a go at drawing the structure of potassium pause the video now have a go and when you're ready press play so we're trying to draw potassium and the symbol for potassium is capital K and we find it here and the proton number for potassium is 19 which means it has 19 protons and also 19 electrons so we need to fit in 19 electrons into this electronic structure diagram the first shell can only hold two so that's two second shell can hold eight so that's three four five six seven eight so we have two plus eight that's ten so far so nine more to go so we go to the third shell that can hold a maximum of eight so that's three four five six seven eight so that's two plus eight makes ten plus another eight makes 18 so we need one more electron to have 19 for potassium and we notice that in the outermost shell there is only one electron because we also notice that potassium is in group one so that makes sense so that's the electronic structure for potassium okay so that was just a video showing you how to draw the electronic structure of any element within the first 20 elements in the periodic table i hope that helped as always like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video thanks